Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I've done a couple of football helmet tutorials on how to paint them. And today, um, I actually have two brand new Vices Zero Two helmets. The reason why I have two of them is I have one large and one medium. And we're gonna pull them out of the box, check them both out, uh, try them both on. My son has uh, currently a, a Speed Flex. So it's a Rydell Speed Flex. I've painted it two times. Um, that's the helmet that I painted in those videos, but uh, you know, it's, it's not as safe as a helmet as these Vices Zero Twos. I've heard a lot of good things about them and I kind of wanted to check them out and review them for myself. So uh, let's open them up and take a look. So this is my son Bax and he's been in a couple other videos with me at the racetrack and things. These helmets are for him. So we're going to go ahead and unbox these take a look at them, try them on and see which one fits the best. These are hard helmets to come by. So the large is black, which would end up having to be painted. So I could probably do another video on that because the Vices helmet is a little bit different material than the Rydell helmet. And uh, I would have to figure out what the best paint material to use would be for this helmet. So I'm hoping that the white medium fits because the color we need is white but we wanted to order both just to check them out and uh, make sure we got the right fit. So, why don't we open this one up back, so let's take a look at them. The medium is supposed to be a smaller shell as well as the interior fit. But they come with a ton of different pads so that you can uh, utilize each pad and find out which one fits the best. So as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but the helmets are a different size. And we, uh, we kind of played with the black one. I got it yesterday. The white one showed up today. So we're gonna try them out and see what we think. So on the inside of the helmet, it's just got these little triangle pieces and they fit in one, two, three, four, five, six different spots. So you have different thicknesses of each pad so you can put them all in all different spots until you get the right fit of the helmet that you desire. So being this is the medium, we're just going to go ahead and put in the smallest pads all the way around, which are the 5.5 uh, 5 inch. So let's see, I wonder what this, Ooh, this one actually feels really good, dude. This looks perfect. We just need the back pad. We have a cheap thing. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. So what you want to make sure about, too, is, you know, if you end up having to use the thickest pad for the helmet to fit tight, then when the helmet loosens up, you're not going to be able to get it tighter. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to go off the theory that the helmet's probably going to settle in, and we're going to want to be able to add thicker pads over time to be able to keep the helmet um, to be able to keep the helmet comfortable. That's awesome. Super, so the, it's the face mask that helps keep it so it's not so flexible, I guess. Huh? So you can see how flexible this helmet is. You can even push on the shell, and the shell kind of pushes in. So it's pretty cool. But this one's not too much, too. So we're going to um, work on getting the face mask put on the helmet because it looks like the face mask is probably going to help tighten the helmet up. And then uh, we'll play with some pad combinations and find out which one we like the most. Uh, so far, it does seem like we might be leaning towards the medium sized helmet, but uh, we'll take a look and find out. All right, guys, so we have unpackaged the, the medium and the large. I'm sure you can see the difference in size of the shell itself. The problem that we're finding is with the medium helmet, it's not coming down far enough on the cheeks. No matter what pad adjustments we do inside the helmet, it just doesn't come down far enough. So the medium shell is just too small, really, I think for probably almost any adult. So even though this is an adult helmet, it's not a youth, um, I, I don't know very many adults that would be able to fit inside the medium shell. So hopefully that's good information for you to know. You're gonna to wanna to go out there and order the large, and then you've got all the pads to adjust the, the size and comfort on the inside of the helmet. Um, because the, the medium size shell is quite a bit smaller uh, than the large. So 
food for thought. Hopefully that helps. And uh, we're just going to keep on going and seeing what we can do to uh, make this large a little bit more comfortable for him. All right, guys. So here's the helmet. I've got everything off of it. I'm going to have to paint it. And I'm really not sure how because this Vice's helmet is so soft. It's almost like, man, look how soft it is. It's almost like rubber. And I don't know if paint's going to stick to it very well or not. But we don't really have a choice. I want him to have the most protection he can get. He's playing both offense and defense. Um, so I want him to have good protection. So I don't know. I'm, I might even see if I can vinyl wrap it. And even if I have to do it every week, I will. So I'm going to have to take a look at it, kind of come up with some ideas, and I'll let you know what I come up with.